It's Friday night. I happen to be in Napa instead of East Hampton, but Jeffrey's on his way, and now I'm gonna cook for him. And what would be for dinner on Friday night? Chicken. It's chicken with wild mushrooms. So the first thing I wanna do is season it. I like lots of salt, lots of pepper on both sides. Okay, need a little bit of flour. This is gonna really dry the outside of the chicken. Just about a quarter of a cup. chicken right in and just dust it a few pieces at a time. So what the flour is going to do is actually extra dry the outside and it keeps the inside really moist. So I'm going to put it in the pan. I don't want to crowd it because I want it to really brown nicely. So I think I'll do these in two batches. I think Jeffrey's going to love this. OK, so that's 3 quarters of a pound of cremini cut in half. Chicken looks like it's done. Just gonna put it on a plate. And then I'm gonna use the oil to cook the mushrooms and some other flavors. Some other things I got in the market. Okay, so the mushrooms go right in. Mm, it smells so good. I've got four cloves of garlic. There's really good garlic in the market. And I'm gonna do some thyme. I think maybe like four sprigs of thyme. Here's a little trick. If you tie them together, then you don't have to pick out all those little sprigs of thyme. All you have to do is pick up the string and it's all together. And actually what's gonna happen is the little leaves of thyme are just gonna come off in the cooking, right in. Okay, give it a stir. This is gonna cook for about five minutes. It smells wonderful. You can already smell the garlic cooking, the thyme. This is gonna be so good with the chicken. Okay, just a few more steps. Trust me, they're really easy. So when the mushrooms are cooked for about five minutes, I add a couple of tablespoons of dry sherry, and I cook it for about a minute, just scraping the brown bits from the pan. All makes the sauce taste better. Then more garlic. Half a tablespoon of minced garlic goes in. That needs to cook for just a minute. Then it's time for the wine. I'm using one cup of Pinot Grigio from the Napa Valley, of course. And that's followed by a cup of chicken stock. And finally, half a tablespoon of kosher salt and half a teaspoon of pepper. Mmm, the sauce smells fantastic. I'm just gonna put the chicken right back in. Just sort of nestle it in with the mushrooms and the garlic and thyme. You can really smell the wine. Jeffrey's on his way. Okay, lid on into the oven. 325 degrees for 30 to 35 minutes. So the first thing I'm gonna do actually is take this thyme bundle out. It's so much better to tie it together. Okay, I'm gonna take all the chicken out perfectly cooked. I'm just gonna thicken the sauce with what the French call a roux, which is a little butter and flour. If you mash it together and then add it slowly, you don't end up with lumps in the sauce. It's kind of like making gravy. So I'm just gonna stir this in, just a little at a time. Stir it in. I'm just gonna thicken just a little bit. You don't want a really thick sauce. So all the chicken goes back in. And hopefully, Jeffrey will be here soon. It smells delicious. <laughs> so let's see, you had to come all the way across the country so I could cook dinner for you? Yeah, but you know what? <laughs> what? I'd come across the country uh... for you to cook dinner for me anytime. <laughs> this stuff's just fantastic. Mm. I'd come across the country even back. <laughs>